Jefferson Street was our hometown, was our home street. And this is where everything happened. And this is where Roger was born, where we played. When he was about four years old, Roger used to play his, with his spoons. My mother used to haul him, put the silverware down until she developed that. that and he had talent at that. So around the house, we always had a lot of musical instruments, Congo drum. He, he used to bring, give Roger a little snare drum. I remember the first snare drum he, he, my dad bought him for Christmas. His name pretty much got around the city of Pittsburgh. Roger formed his own band at an early age, about uh, 14 years old. They used to go and sit in with these professional jazz artists. First time you left here, you left here with uh, Stanley Turnton, Art Blakey. Horse Silver. He stayed with Horse Silver quite a many number of years. Because he was on the road so much, it um, I didn't remember him that well. So I was like, who's this man, Mommy? I guess it took him to a different uh, perspective in life, like, wow, I have children. I need to be here with my children. And that was the breaking point. And after you left Ray Charles, you come back here and decide to get his own thing together. He's been here ever since. When he said yes, it was one of the greatest days in my ed educational life and career because I had an icon that could make a difference. And for Roger to make that choice years ago set the foundation for folks like me, James Johnson, and all of us young cats that are now here and also performing around the world so that we could be great. But layer it for us, George, okay? He's really uh, what you might call a master teacher. Go ahead, even though you scratch. All right, give me the cue He's on. always teaching on the, on the stage, off the stage. It's important that we transmit the language as it was transmitted. And those are the kinds of things that we, we, you know, we should be teaching our, our young kids. He came to our level and in his own way brought us all up in various ways, even outside of music as men. You know, he was just a good, good dude. He's like created so much music through, through his students and people that have gone through his bands and things like that. And at the same time, he's gotten to be around his, his family the whole time. First thing he tells you, F-A-M-I-L-Y, my family. It's always been that way. And that's how they've been geared. All of them been raised that way. <laughs> you know, from paying dues to getting paid, from getting paid to paying others, and most importantly, paying back. At the end of the day, we all know that we have an obligation to continue to move this craft forward on behalf of others. I hope I live for a long time and the day uh, they pronounced me that Roger's going to another land, that was the same day I stopped playing. Thank you.